God bless you so much. I'd like you to stay tuned and get set for God's word. God bless you. Of deliverance. We're reading. Let's finish up that scripture. You see, in the Bible, deliverance and judgment always go hand in hand or hand in glove because deliverance is always needed because there is somebody negating the will of God in your life. And if you are separated from that person and that person is left based on scripture, even though Mordecai had already been promoted, but the, the fact that Haman was there and there was a decree already would still leave God's people in trouble. Deliverance will always go hand in hand with judgment. You would read here, let's finish up. Let me allow the Bible speak for itself. Verse 23 now for sake of time. The Bible says, and the Egyptians pursued hmm, and went in after them to the midst of the sea and all Pharaoh's horses and his chariots and his horsemen. Uh -huh. And it came to pass that in the morning watch, the Lord looked onto the host of the Egyptians through the pillar of fire and of cloud and troubled the host of the Egyptians. 25, he says he took off their chariot wheels and they drave them heavily so that the Egyptians said, let us flee from the face of Israel for the Lord fighted for them against the Egyptians. The Lord said unto Moses, Now stretch your hand again. Let there be another sound of judgment that the waters may come again upon the Egyptians and upon their chariots and upon their horsemen. 27. And Moses stretched forth his hands over the sea and the sea returned to its strength when the morning appeared and the Egyptians fled against it and the Lord overthrew the Egyptians in the midst of the sea. Uh-huh. And the waters returned and covered the chariots and horsemen and all the host of Pharaoh that came into the sea after them. There remained not so much as one of them. We're almost there, 29. But the children of Israel walked upon dry land in the midst of the sea. And the waters were a wall unto them. It's called the song of Miriam. I will sing unto the Lord for he has triumphed gloriously the horses and his riders have been thrown into the sea that there is a sound of deliverance i don't know what may have happened around your life your family and it looks like on one hand you are reading that victory that should be yours but experientially it looks like captivity is what you see around you in this conference prophetically there is a sound that is rising and the lord is telling me to prophesy to someone that this egyptians will see in the name of jesus the son of the living god that you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever you will see them no more forever Number three, what is the third sound that has been released tonight? The sound of victory. The sound of victory. Verse five. Please give it to us very quickly. Joshua chapter six and verse five. And it came to pass that when they make a long blast with the ram's horn, and when ye hear the sound of the trumpet, it says, All the people shall shout with a great shout and the wall of the city shall fall down flat and the people shall ascend up every man straight before him and then from give us first chapter 6 now from verse 16 i'm cutting these verses so that we save time and it came to pass at the seventh time when the priest blew the trumpet it says joshua said unto the people shout shout for the lord hath given 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 hallelujah hallelujah verse 20 
verse 20 of that same chapter so the people shouted when the priest blew the trumpet and it came to pass when the people had the sound of the trumpet and the people shouted with a great shout that the wall fell down flat so that the people went into the city every man straight before him listen 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 you see the way of the spiritual man is beyond the realm of science and intellect even though science and intellect can weave themselves into spiritual things i need you to understand that in manifesting victory in the spirit you must be childlike enough to follow the patterns remember we discuss patterns in the morning how is victory connected to a shout i understand that victory is connected to pursuit I understand that victory is connected to diligence but here is a formula that does not make sense to a natural man that you can shout your way into realms and dimensions hallelujah 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 god bless you thank you first chronicles 14 15. please write this down because you will need it these are the tools of victory hallelujah it says and it shall be when thou shalt hear a sound of going in the tops of the mulberry trees that then thou shalt go to battle for god is gone forth before thee there are sounds that when you hear and there are sounds that when you make is proof that God has gone ahead already one last scripture Psalm 118 verse 15 I love the Word of God because I have taught you and by God's grace you have learned here that the administration of God's power is within the jurisdiction of his will the power of God does not work arbitrarily the assignment of the power of God is to make the will of God manifest in the life of the believer so outside of the will of God the power of God has no assignment and I told you if ever it has any assignment is to bring you and any condition into the will of God scripture is the boundary of God's commitment to the believer god is not committed to the believer indefinitely he is only committed to the believer within the coordinates of scripture are we together the basis of his relating with the believer is the modus operandi that the bible provides it's important we understand this psalm 118 verse 15 it says the voice niv says the sound of joy and victory it says resounds in the tent of the righteous hallelujah listen this is very powerful that you can lock yourself in the midst of pain and your tears and you're shouting and giving him glory and it does not make sense oh ask jehoshaphat that while you are shouting and singing and celebrating him there are things he's establishing in the realm of the spirit and they are finding expressions you will come out to meet prepared blessings and when people ask you by what technology did this result come about you will tell them that there is a sound called the sound of victory so sound number four are we still here the sound of favor and abundance please write it down the sound of <laughs> goodness first kings 18 41 first kings 18 41 and elijah said unto ahab get thee up eat and drink for i hear i have been hearing sounds before but this one is the sound of abundance there is a sound of abundance there is a sound of abundance there is a sound of favor in second kings chapter 7 give us from verse 1 please second Kings 7 remember this was in samaria there was famine it was an economic situation the bible says and elijah said hear ye the word of the lord 
thus saith the lord he said tomorrow about this time shall a measure of fine flour be sold for a shekel now you see the prophetic dimension it does not act like there is any challenge you see you know god is speaking because he speaks to men like he's speaking to himself god can talk to you as though there were no obstacles around verse 2 two of that scripture it says the lord on whose hand the king leaned answered the man of god and said even if god will open the windows of heaven might this thing be and he said behold thou shalt see it with your eyes but you shall not eat thereof are we still together verse 3 we're reading to 8 very quickly and there were four leprous men now watch how prophecy comes to pass that out of all the people who could be used to make that word come to pass god would come to leprous men they were entering at the gate and they said to one another why sit we here until we die verse 4 if we say we will enter the city the famine is there in the city and we shall die and if we sit here we shall die anyway now therefore come let us fall upon the host of the syrians if they save us alive we shall live and if they kill us we shall die and they rose up in the twilight to go into the camp of the syrians the bible says and when they come to the uttermost part of the syrian behold no man was there what happened for the lord made the host of the syrians to hear a sound these were warriors and the lord made them to hear a sound and a noise of chariots a noise of great host these were four lepers what sound could they possibly produce and they said to one another look at what happened to their minds they began to suggest things that did not exist and took action after their, the error of their imagination they did not even verify they just concluded that the king of israel hired the the kings of the hittites and the egyptians to come upon us verse 6 7 now wherefore they arose and fled in the twilight and left their tents horses asses even the camp as it was and fled for their life verse 8 and when the lepers came to the uttermost part of the camp they were into one tent and did eat and drink and carried then silver and gold say prepared blessings and raiment and went and hid it and came again and entered into another tent and carried you, you can imagine what happened because there was a sound that somebody will hear a sound in his spirit and call you and say um i said in 2019 that i will attend to you have i attended to you already because a sound There is a sound of abundance and there is a sound of favor. If you do not believe this, get ready to use your life as a, an experience and a lesson for the generations to come. Because I assure you, if you lack the favor of God and you do not understand the mystery of abundance in this season, you are already at the corridors of compromise. Are we together? Yes. The number one reason why people succeed is because of the favor of God upon their life. And there are three biblical indices that attest to the presence of favor. Number one, unusual kindness. Number two, unusual access. Number three, unusual acceptance. These are the three biblical indices. And you may have heard me say, if it is favor, it never happens once. If it happens once, that is breakthrough and not favor. Favor must reoccur again regardless the current circumstances. Exodus 3.21 And I will give these people favor in the sight of the Egyptians. And it shall come to pass that as ye go, ye shall not go empty. Esther 2.15 The B part says, And Esther obtained favor in the sight of all them that looked upon her. Are we together? psalm 44 and verse 3 it says they got not the land in possession by their own sword neither did their own arm save them it would take more than savings to be established the hand of god must rest upon you as touching his favor and in the name of jesus god is releasing that sound tonight the sound 
of the abundance of rain in this kingdom who hates you does not matter but who likes you matters because god blesses men through men it is true the king sent for joseph not god and they brought him out of his dungeon kings men can redefine the possibilities in your life there are I've, I've said it again and again that there are men you cannot cast away you only pray for favor to pass through their gates it says when a man's ways pleases the lord he makes there are some enemies you cannot pray away they are gatekeepers and even god recognizes them you will pray for favor you try to fight with them you are, you've, you've failed already because as bad as they are there is a covenant bigger than them that protects them how would you have casted pharaoh from egypt no god had to give joseph favor with pharaoh for him to rise so that we don't play pray blind prayers that are products of ignorance let me tell you there are men who are gatekeepers and even though they are cyruses god has found out that their position at the gates is more profitable as far as his purposes is concerned he will leave them there We are committed to bringing you the light of the scripture through God's servant, Apostle Joshua Selman. I would like you to always stay blessed even as God transforms your life from scratch even to his perfect will for you. Always ensure that you stay connected by striking the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell so as to remain updated with our everyday post. God bless you.